we had a cross country clinic at Harden on the last Sunday in January it was. Um, Peter Gillis and Natalie Blundell were the instructors and we had Peter for both of our lessons and um, yeah Lily's had lessons with Peter on and off thanks COVID for a while now so she knows him he knows her and Bumper especially reasonably well and yeah Bumper was a pretty good boy he had a moment or two along the way but he was pretty good for him He's a bit special, we all know that. He's not always the easiest horse to ride. But yeah, they do well. Luckily for Lily, her lesson started at 7.30 in the morning. Which was nice because it was a warm day. It wasn't that hot numbers wise. It was only like 28 or 29 I think it got to. But I feel like it was about a thousand percent humidity. So I kind of wish that I was on at 7.30 in the morning. I probably would have ridden my whole lesson if I had have been. But anyway, we'll get to that with Reese later on. This first half's Lily and Bumper going around. They were in the 60 centimetre class. They jumped a few 80 centimetre jumps like you'll see him here. He's about to go over this roll top and brush. It's in the 80 centimetre class there. Not that one actually must be the next time around yes this one it's in the 80 centimeters and yeah a couple of other ones along the way so they had a good morning Love Bumpy going over the bridge, his enormous feet clomping on it. It's very scary. This is classic bumper. This was at the end of the lesson. We'd been to around all the other jumps and got to this one. And this is his thing, you know. He is absolutely capable of jumping quite substantial jumps physically, not always mentally and emotionally. He does this kind of thing. He's, no, I'm not going near that. Look at that. Why would I want to? And then whoosh, over he goes and he's off and it's all fine which is very frustrating for Lily sometimes, especially when he's, okay, I'm good now. And they ended up they're jumping the 80 centimetre one of these, which is what they're going into now, I think. And, you know, he just pops it at a trot. It's nothing. But, you know, if he's decided that he's not going near that, then he's just not going near that. Thank you very much. When it was time for Reese's lesson, it was a few hours later, a few hours hotter. It was very hot and very muggy and I don't know what his problem was. But when as soon as I got on, he just wanted to absolutely launch in the air. He was very hot and very naughty and very buzzy, which is not like him. He had to do lots and lots of work to 
before we started and he didn't really really settle I mean when we were working he was good but yeah I was very hot and sweaty myself and I swapped with Lily in just a second and said how you go Lily how about you do the rest of the lesson being all young and energetic and stuff yeah she's never ridden him cross country at all and she did a great job with him he didn't really settle down throughout the the two hours he was still wanting to shoot off up the hill back to the float when she was finished even though he was sweat from nose to tail and just had some very bouncy canner going on but when he was on the job he was good so that was nice it was a nice fun day for both of us Lily did a lot more riding she was not very full of energy on the way home herself yeah, both the horses were good at their job, although Reese was very naughty before that. But anyway, I'd, he got over it, you know, the next time we rode, I rode him, he was good as gold. He's been out since then and was also good as gold. I love this train jump. It's so cool. I like that about Hard and that they have some very cool little jumps. You know, it's not just a course full of logs it's a little bit of an apex that one there's the train there's the bridge there's more interesting stuff going on than you always find at the lower levels there's happy hours to walk over the bridge it's no dramas and yeah he popped some of the bigger jumps too back at the start peter asked me if i wanted to do the 80 at that first jump that we did and yeah, that's a no thanks. I'm pretty happy with 60 is my life goal, so I don't feel the need to go anywhere near the 80 centimetre ones. Maybe with Lily on him. Yeah, this is the end almost, and that was the clinic at Harden, and we appreciate them putting it on for us.